Hey guys, today I will be doing a, another draw with me video, and for this one I'm going to be doing a Christmas drawing. So you will see later on in the video what I decide to draw. And this is supposed to be kind of like a part two to the other Christmas video I did. So hopefully it turns out better than last time. If you haven't seen that other video, I'll put it in the link below, and you can watch that after you watch this one. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll get on to it. Okay, so you guys all know that I failed at the last project, so I think I'm going to do still a Christmas theme, of course. So I was thinking of something to do, and I thought of a snow globe. So it seemed pretty simple, and I thought that it would look good, and because I'm still kind of new with this, so I just decided to do something easy. So I started to draw the circle part, and I knew I couldn't draw a perfect circle, so thankfully that they, they had the like shape thing, I don't know, and I just used that. So this 3D paint app that I'm using actually lets you choose the size and how big you want the circle to be, and the, like the thickness of the circle, I don't know. Um, so I tried to make it thin but not too thin where you don't see it so I was just kind of like messing around with that for a little bit and then when it came to doing the bottom part of the circle that took me a really long time as you guys can see but um, I just kept trying to do it until I was pretty happy with how it looked and then after that I just decided later on that I'll just go in and change it. Now I'm just drawing like the snow and like kind of the floor part of the snow globe and I'm just doing it in like a lighter gray and once I was done with that I am starting to make the snowman now and I'm just using the same circle tool or like shape again done with the snowman well not done but like happy with the shape of how it looked i went in and drew some branches and like trees in the background um just to have more scenery in the back i guess And now I'm going in and adding in like the details and like the accessories on the snowman. So right now I'm working on his hat and then I'm going to do his face and like the buttons and the scarf and then his like arms and stuff too. For his nose, it took me quite a long time to do it because I didn't know how big to make it and if I did it super small, it was kind of hard to do it on like the drawing pad that I was using. So it took me like multiple tries. It, you can't really tell because this is time lapse right now, but it took me really long. So now that I drew in his scarf, 
I'm going to add in like the buttons like down and um, add in some more details to the hat. I'm going to draw in the arms and they kind of look like the branches of the tree but I guess that's okay because they're kind of supposed to be I guess but this is where I noticed that I forgot to do the background of the snow globe of course I always forget the background for some reason so I go in and I just kind of mess around with this a little bit well not a little bit it actually took me like a really long time to fix it but you guys need to watch till the end to see what ends up happening to this but I like try to find out how to do the background like blue because I wanted to do some snow that was white right so it took me a long time to figure it out and I guess you guys will see what happens this part right here is just me wasting my time trying to change the snow globe color uh, so I just time lapsed it to be super fast so nothing really important Okay, so here is where I actually figure out how to do the background. So I um, just use that light blue, as you can see, to do the background so you could see the white snow. But the thing is, is that after I put it on, I realized that the snow on the floor is gray, and I kind of wanted it to be white because it's snow. But watching this back now, I kind of feel like it. I should have just left it because then, like, I went in and undid the background and I erased the lines of the gray snow that I wanted originally and after I erased all the gray lines I tried to do the background again and it just didn't work out at all like you could see the eraser marks and I just couldn't do it again and I kind of forgot how I did it in the first place so I think that was another problem but I just shouldn't have erased it and I should have just left it. Here I am again going in and wasting my time trying to get that snow globe background color changed again to like that light blue and I basically couldn't do it so I had to just leave it white and just keep it like that. So right here it actually looks okay until I start to erase it. If I just erased the background, that would have been fine, but I erased that part inside the snow globe, which made it messed up. So, I think it's okay how it turned out at the end, but it's basically where we just started. Um, I don't think I would say it's a fail, though. Hopefully you guys don't think it's a fail. 
but this did take me a really long time. So now I'm just going to go in and add in the snow, which is like gray, I guess, because it matches the floor. And I went back in and tried to fix the bottom of the snow globe to make it more straight. And I decorated it too a little bit. So I hope you guys like the finished product. And I think it's definitely better than last time, even though I did kind of fail at this one too. But it's okay. I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching.